I welcome to the tutorial of um, CCTV designing using this designing system softwares. Um, we use this software which is called JVSJ to design CCTV systems. Now what we have here is a floor plan of a surgery. Now you could see here this is the entrance and then you have the reception and then you have the waiting areas and you get the first surgery and the second one and the consulting room, the first consulting room, the second consulting room, and you've got the toilets, and then you've got the kitchen. Um, so we we are going to design a small CCTV system here. Um, so we've got the first camera here. Now you see if you scroll down to uh, the options on the left hand side, you see the camera and uh, the installation height, and uh, that basically tells you what height the camera has been installed. Now I'm gonna change that to three meters. Then you have the sensor format, um, whether it's one third or one fourth, uh, one six, and so on. Um, the standard one is one third, so just leave it in the standard one. Then you've got the focal length. Now uh, that's the lens. Um, that basically tells you what area it's going to cover. So let me just change. It's got 4.8 now. Now if I change that to 2.8, then you would see here it covers a wide area. So the purpose of having a CCTV camera here is to cover uh, a wider area. So I would leave it in uh, 2.8, so I'll get um, a broader view. Uh, then you get camera tilt, um, and you have resolution. So I'm going to leave it at um, CIF PAL. We use PAL in the UK, so if it's uh, US, we should be using NTSC. So I'm going to leave it in PAL. Now this it's quite important when you decide what sort of hard drive that you need for your DVR. So once that is done, um, I've got a um, rough idea of uh, what sort of area would be covered and how I'm going to see the pictures. Now you do get this problem often that you see somebody's face, somebody standing there, but then you can't see the person's face clearly, and that's because the lens that you've chosen. Um, so I'm going to click on, uh, if you see here, you would see the CCTV, the turf, and the area which it covers. Now if I go to a 3D view, I would see, it roughly gives me what's, how I'm going to see them um, in the CCTV camera. So if somebody's standing at the doorstep, um, you would you roughly see the person, but then you will not see his face, his or her face clearly. But if somebody's quite close to your camera, then you'll be able to see them. Um, I'm gonna add another camera. So you've got camera ID, you've got camera free as ID. Then I'm gonna have the second camera. So it's cam camera two. I'll change camera three to camera one. That's because we were using other cameras before, so now um, it, it wasn't free, but you could uh, change it. Uh, so I've got camera two now. So I'm going to decide where I'm going to have this camera fitted. Okay. When somebody walk into this, um, the waiting area, the or the reception, um, this camera would catch them. So if this decided to walk straight into the uh, to the cons uh, consulting rooms. Um, then we need a camera to catch them. So we'll just put this camera here. Okay. Um, now, if I go back to the uh, specification of the camera, it's still going to be at the height of 3 meters. Then I've got the sensor as 1 third, and then I've got the focal length as 2.8. Now, you'd see 2.8, it sort of gives me. Um, an area which I don't really want because um, I've got a glass door, glass wall here, so which um, I'll be having another camera inside the consulting room, so I don't need this camera uh, to cover this area. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the focal lens to four, perhaps I would do 4.8. Now, if you see, now it's, it's gone a bit narrow. 
uh, but then you, you you'll be able to see on the preview view that you'll see the person's face clearly. Now the cross before 2.8, so that was something like that. You could you could see the person, but now if we change that to four point, now you see them very clearly. But you will notice that we missed the first person standing here, so that's going to be our blind spot. So I've got the second camera done, and uh, we don't need cameras in the consulting rooms. Um, so we've got one camera covering the reception, and one here, and we want to cover the back side uh, um, for the store. We have another camera there. I'm going to leave this camera here. Yes. And facing it towards the exit. So you could see the door and the exit. And if someone is coming from the um, the rear door, then you'll be able to capture that person. And uh, yeah, again, the camera view is a bit broader. And uh, what I need is I'm just worried about this this part of uh, the building. Uh, if somebody comes into the building, I want to get their face clearly. So what I'll do is I'll again change the lens to I'll go with the higher lens, then eight. Now you, on on here on the preview, view, you would see the difference. Now it goes it goes four people. So I could barely see the person who's standing here. Now if I change that to 8, I could see them pretty clearly. I would go with 12. You can see them very clear. But then see my blind spot. All these can be my blind spot, which I don't want. So I will leave that by 4.8. So um, that's it. It's a simple way of uh, designing the system. Now if you come here you would see the camera number one, two, three and the sensors and um, the resolutions we use in CIF here um, and um, the height and all details and you could put descriptions here if you want um, you could call them um, reception and call the second one as okay. Last one as we do. So, um, this roughly uh, gives you an idea what sort of area would be covered and how you're going to see the pictures on, um, when you play them back. Um, and then also, uh, the next tutorial, you learn about how to control, uh, how to have an idea with disk space, how much disk space you need, and uh, what sort of bandwidth you need. Uh, thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed um, this one and then uh, we'll see you with another tutorial soon.